I will speed up and won't stop on the functions that I've already shown. In order to show the next function, I will untick this function. This way, the HDRI will fully emit the lighting that is lower than the horizon. It won't change color and I will bake the lighting once again. Of course, there is more light, not only on the ceiling, but also there is more fill light. We've already taken a look at specified cube map. This is when we can upload any HDRI here. In order for it to emit light by default, there is a function enabled. If I reset it, we have SLS captured scene, meaning that everything outside is captured and this color will be present inside the project. Right now, there is a sphere with an illuminating material. I will bake the lighting as it is. There is no lighting. It doesn't work because sky distance threshold in skyline is too high. After selecting top in the list, I go to the view from the top and now we can see what distance threshold is. If I change the distance from the center of the sphere, then light capture will start from this point. But it's empty here. From 150,000 cm, it is this parameter from the center, the light will be captured in the range of 150,000 cm accordingly. The sphere's radius is about 5,000 cm. This means that we need to set the distance for light capture in this range. At about this distance, somewhere in the middle, the light will be the same as if we would have used white HDRI. Also, while using such light and setting different distance, the lighting won't be homogeneous, because the center of the sphere is here and the building is slightly shifted in relation to the sphere. Let's see how this actually works. I put 4500 in skylight and start building lighting. The lighting starts to work, but since the sphere isn't in the middle of the object, the light isn't homogeneous. For example, here from this side there is light, but it doesn't reach there. I will lower the capture distance parameter to 3000 and bake the lighting. Now there is more light and it will work similar to the way if we had used specified cube map and white HDRI. The parameter from 2000 to 3000 will result in the same color as the white HDRI. For comparison, here is threshold 3000 and white HDRI. The color is the same. I will lower the threshold to 300 and bake the lighting once again. Now I lower it to 200 and bake the lighting. The light and shadow pattern has changed once again. There are more outlining shadows. The shadows themselves look more interesting. And according to your preferences and goals, you can achieve interesting results by changing the threshold distance. I'll put a bookmark here and here. I will put it even lower and bake the lighting once more. The shadows are different once again. But the scene became quite dark. So I will raise global illumination and increase the number of secondary samples five times and bake the lighting. The scene became brighter and at the same time the complexity of the shadows is still present. I got rid of the very dark parts and still the light ended up pretty interesting. I will go through my bookmarks to see the lighting from all perspectives. The lighting on the ceiling is too intensive. I will turn the lower hemisphere function on, select grey color and bake the lighting again. Now there is less light because secondary samples from the ceiling don't give additional light. In order to compensate for this, I will increase the number of secondary samples to 8 and bake the light in once again. Now there is more of fill light. The scene is a bit brighter. We can raise this parameter a bit more, so there are fewer dark corners. I will go to the bookmark, raise the parameter from 32 to 4096, press F9 to make a screenshot and bake the lighting. And now we compare the differences between 32 pixels and 4096 pixels of cube map resolution. After the baking is done, I will make a screenshot and let's compare. This is 32 pixels and this is 4096 pixels of cube map resolution. 32 and 4K. 32 pixels and 4K. 4K gives more detail to the shadows. I will lower the distance threshold to 90 and bake the lighting. The lighting is practically the same and I will continue to lower this parameter. For example, I'll set it to 10. Let's see how the lighting looks in general everywhere in the scene.
I'll bake the lighting once again. The lighting is still practically unchanged, but if we set distance to zero, the lighting will change. It is so bright right now because I changed the secondary samples and set the parameter to high value. I will return this parameter to 1 by default and bake the lighting. The lighting ends up being unbalanced. Some places are too dark. I will set the parameter to 3000 again, which is the closest to the way if I use specified cube map and white HDRI. And I bake the lighting. Now let's compare different distances. This is distance at 0. This is distance at 3000 cm. And this is using simple white HDRI. There is another way that doesn't include the illuminating sphere. It is Unreal Engine Sky Blueprint BP Sphere. Go to Add, write the name of the blueprint, I will add it, and go to Lit Mode so I can see materials. And for now, we can see the sky outside the window because it is blocked by the white background. I select and hide it. This is how BP Sphere looks like. There are clouds which are hard to see right now. If I bake the light in right now, the light will be very yellow. This is also an interesting result. In Skylight, I will return distance threshold to default value and let's see how the lighting will change with default setting. The lighting hasn't changed. It's because BP sphere has a very large diameter, 10 times bigger than the default distance. Let's set the distance to something around this value and see how the lighting will look in this case. I go to the perspective, select Skylight and increase distance threshold. Now I bake the lighting. There is less light because we have crossed the border of the sphere's radius and the more we move the threshold, the darker it will get. Right now it takes 3 minutes to bake the lighting, but I want it to be faster. In order to speed up the baking process, we can lower the light mass parameter for each object. Each object has a pretty high map resolution, which is used to bake the light in Inter. And so, we don't change the parameter individually for each object, but for roll at the same time. I'll go to Build, Lighting Info, Light Map Resolution Adjustment, and here we need to tick which resolution we want to change. From 32 to maximum resolution, current level, set it to 100 and press Enter. This way we confirm the current resolution of light maps on all the objects. And now we can change this resolution. I will lower it 4 times, so it's 25% and press Enter. While doing this, if you pay attention to the selected objects and their resolution, it will become 4 times lower, meaning 1024. Press Enter and now it's 1024. Also, all objects have their resolution reduced 4 times. Let's bake the lighting and compare the speed and the quality of the baked lighting. The lighting hasn't changed drastically, but there might be artifacts with other, brighter lighting, especially in the junctions of the geometry objects. The baking process is considerably faster. This is good for tests. In Skylight, I will make it so there is 5 times more fill light and bake the lighting once again. Now there is more light, but the light map's resolution affects the quality of the shadows. Their detail, position, position of the sun and the temperature of the light is affected by BP sphere. It can be changed if this option is ticked. It is ticked by default. This option connects the position of the sun to this blueprint and if the position of the sun is changed, the lighting from BP sphere will also change. Go to Add, Light, Direct Light. I will change the position of the sun, make it less saturated and blurred. The color hasn't changed because I forgot to select the sun which will control BP sphere. For this, I press G to display the sun, click on the dropper and select this sun. And now it's selected. I will bake the lighting once again. The lighting has changed. In Skylight, I will return sky distance to default and bake the lighting again. I will also return the value of indirect lighting for secondary samples and bake the lighting once more. There is less fill light. It is more contrasting and looks better, although it is too dark in some places. Next, I will show what to do with this. Also, we can change the color of the light source, setting the temperature to be hotter or colder or changing the color itself. 
Now I will delete directional light. The baked lighting from it still remains. Next, in BP Sky Sphere, I will turn off connection to the position of the sun. BP Sphere remembers the position of the distant light source. To make it more clear, I'll completely delete BP Sphere from the object. And add this blueprint with default settings. But since we didn't change the position of the sun, then by default we have this warm tone. I turn off connection to the sun and now can change color of the sky's gradient. Everything that is below the horizon, the color of the clouds. The only thing that I will leave unchanged is the color of the zenith. This is the upper part of the sky. Let's bake the lighting and see how it looks like. The fill light became homogeneous and up here there is a cold tone from the sky. We can leave it if we want. Basically, it looks correct. For comparison, I'll make the color of the zenith pure white, go to the bookmark and make the lighting once again. There is no cold tone anymore and there is more light now, because clear white light is shining from all sides. Such light is about the same compared to baking the lighting with white HDRI. The only difference is that usually it is brighter, and in order to compensate for that, we need to lower the exposure a bit. We can also see these add effects at the junctions of the geometry objects. This is because I set the resolution to be lower, so the lighting for test would bake quicker. For illustrative purposes, I will set the resolution to how it was before the changes and bake the lighting once again. As expected, there are no more add effects. I will go to lighting only mode, press F9, make a screenshot, return the resolution to its lower parameter, this here should be ticked. Confirm the current resolution, decrease it 4 times and bake the lighting. As expected, add effects reappeared with low resolution and the noise became more apparent. And let's compare low resolution light maps to high resolution light maps. Low resolution can be used to change the color quickly, and high resolution should be used for final baking in order to get rid of the noise and add effects. I'll go to lit mode, select BP sphere, and we can adjust its intensity by lowering the general color of the sky. We can see the changes right away. I will lower this and bake the lighting. There is less color now. I return the setting to default and bake the lighting once again. The light intensity is back. I select skylight. The intensity of the light being emitted by BP sphere can be adjusted with intensity scale, the same way as we would adjust the intensity of HDRI. I set the intensity to half as much. I bake the lighting and there is less light. I can lower it one more time and bake the lighting once again. As expected, there is even less light now. Just as with HDRI, the part below the horizon and its color is adjusted by this option. If I untick this option, the color of the sky remains unchanged. If I tick this option, it can be seen in the reflection how the color is changed. The border of the horizon can be blurred by changing cube map resolution. We can see it in the reflection. Let's look at the sphere at the top. Decreasing cube map resolution will result in more blur and more fill light. According to this, increasing cube map resolution will result in more clear detail and the light from it will be less homogeneous. For comparison, I bake the lighting with white homogeneous HDRI. Using the specified cube map function in Skylight, I bake the lighting with the captured scene function. There are little differences in the light. I recommend using both captured scene and specified cube map depending on your project. Look at the results and choose what fits you more.